gonna draw the Allosaurus, just like the head. Uh, it's gonna be very quick, very simple for beginners, so let's get started, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start from the, the, kind of the end of the, of the snout. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna draw a line, kind of like that. Gonna curve back over the top of the snout here. And there's gonna be a little bit of a ridge above one of the eyes on one side. And then go over here. Again, that's kind of the brow, top of the brow area. Cool, cool. Like, uh, Allosaurus is like a theropod, obviously very related to like T-Rex, or I, I don't know if it actually was related to T-Rex, I don't think he was, but, um, but I'm saying theropod in the sense that they were, you know, like very, very similar. So, gonna go over here and curve up for the eye. Line over here line over here by the way if there's a dinosaur you want to see me draw let me know in the comment section I will absolutely make it happen just uh, let me know okay I'm gonna go over here circle for the eye I'm gonna fill it in line 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 over here, line over here, line over here, line over here. Line over here to the tip of the nose. Fill that in. All right, it's for the nostril. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull back the bottom area, right? Like him opening his mouth. Curve right here. Down, curve back up. Right on. I'm gonna go over here and then curve for the back of the neck, right? It's gonna be that bump right there that a lot of people miss. To be honest, a lot of people don't do that with theropods that much. Um, they kind of forget that, that bump there. We're gonna go in and start drawing teeth right there. And we're gonna try to make them various sizes, various, uh, you know, lengths. Not, not too long, right? Obviously, but just kind of keep it uh i know it's a big debate right whether dinosaurs had lips or not um so they don't really know if they had lips or not they probably did right i heard but curve right there open for kind of the skin as it's opening up right the skin on the inside as uh, he opens his mouth line 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 gonna go over here scoop underneath we're gonna go over here and draw line over here for the tongue kind of sitting kind of on the uh, lower portion of by the way don't forget hit the like button if you like dinosaurs if you like learning to draw dinosaurs if you like this tutorial absolutely hit that like it's gonna do a lot for the algorithm okay now I'm gonna go over here and I draw a straight line the bottom the bottom jaw right here for the little, little uh, lip there and then bottom of the chin line back up down over here down over here for the neck okay you can give him a little bit of a thicker neck right here because honestly I think he needs a thinner neck and it'll look more like folds right there because you want to like make it obviously like he can carry his own skull right or on his on the shoulders line right here same thing so we're gonna have some teeth pointed up here like so sweet pulling in right there the tongue's pulling in and we're gonna have a little bit of the, the back the back over here dark area gonna go over here fill this in line across over here in the back, maybe some more teeth. You can you can put maybe like some teeth in the background a little bit right there and fill that in to kind of give it more dimension, right? That's what we want. We want it to look a little bit better, a little bit more dimension. Just kind of throwing a couple of teeth there. Line over here. Line, 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 line. Line here. 
curve, curve, curve. Line over here. Curve over here. All right. And then we can kind of go over here and their ear is kind of like a slit right there on the back. So we're going to go right here down. Pull like a line right there where his ear is in there. Ear canal. Going to go pull back over here along the ridge right there on the top. And I think what you want from the ridge is you really want it to uh, kind of look cool in shape. So that's kind of why I throw that little wave kind of shape there. Because you're also a designer, right, when you're doing this. You're not just purely drawing for the heck of it. Line over here. For kind of the, uh, the kind of the ridge on the right side of his neck, and we're gonna have folds, right? He's gonna have that kind of like thin lines right here for the uh, folds on his neck, and you want to wrap those lines around. That's something that's very important. You want to wrap it around again, making it look more 3D, like you know, uh, more uh, dimensional. Line up, line over here. Curve, curve, curve. One over here. Curly for the nose. One over here. And let's throw some stuff to distinguish him from the T-Rex. And we could throw like, uh, like some more stuff to distinguish him from the, because obviously he's like a little bit more svelte than the T-Rex. Um, but you can throw some spikes, uh, some ridges right here, which is in the form of spikes along the back. Obviously, since we only have like the bones, and I, I do know we there's ways to figure out their color, right, on some of uh, the dinosaurs. Um, for some, very few, I think, right? Um, we don't know like certain things like whether they had ridges or they had giant cheeks or something like that. We don't know that. I remember they had this thing where like if they had um an elephant skull and somebody drew it, what would it look like? But I don't really think those are real. <laughs> I don't think those are good. Uh, I've seen that example and I'm like, no, I think they would have figured that out. Like, maybe not. I don't know. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's like a meme. So now you want to throw in these little curved ridges right here for texture, right? That this guy is a textured dino, right? Here. Line over here as well. You can just kind of keep adding on little thin lines right here for added detail. So this is the icing on the cake. This is stuff that will... Um, just really lend to like the bonus stuff you know giving again more detail making it look a lot more um, just nice to look at and aesthetic right on I want to thank you very much for watching this uh, you are amazing uh, you are a powerful person Keep practicing art. Keep doing what you want to, what you do with it. Uh, doodle all kinds of fun little things that you like, and uh, I will see you in the next video. All right. See you later. Hit the subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.